Dan Fiedler with Cal TV Sports here, and I'm seated with Jamal Boykin, senior power forward for the California Golden Bears men's basketball team. And Jamal, thank you so much for being here with us. So tell me a little bit about why Duke was such a dream school for you growing up. Going to a good academic school was something that was uh, pushed out of very early age. Uh, and I started playing basketball at a very young age, so uh, my goal was to, to find a school, even at a very young age, that fit best as an athlete and uh, as a student. Well, after you had made your decision to transfer, right. as a Duke player, you could have gone almost anywhere in the country. Right. What was it about Cal that made yeah. you choose this school? I wanted to continue to go to a school that I felt was a good academic institution and, uh, where I could continue getting the education as well as uh, go to a place where uh, I could build good relationships with the people. I already knew some of the players, Patrick, Theo, Jordan Wilson at the time, some of the other players that were here. And I want to really we want to build something. Well, this year, your numbers are way up. Right. You've got career highs in minutes, right. points, and rebounds. Right. And your 15-foot jump shot is more automatic than most computers. <laughs> so what, to what do you attribute this, this spike in productivity that you've had? Is it something that you've changed about your game or just a, a maturation process? I have to give a lot of credit to my teammates because obviously they're the one the ones giving me the ball. And, um, I've always had a good mid-range jump shot. That's something I've always prided, uh, pride myself on. Uh, so this year, having more minutes means having more opportunities uh, to take those shots. And uh, uh, one thing I take a lot of pride in as well, we're shooting at high percentage. So uh, if you get more minutes, more shots, you're shooting at high percentage, more points, more production. What has really stood out to you by the way that Cal is an academic institution that's given you some opportunities? You learn so much uh, in just everyday life uh, from whoever. You never know who you're going to learn. Know, your, your next next bit of information from. So I think that's uh, one thing that has truly intrigued me while I've been here. And also, uh, you know, Cal is a rich alumni with great uh, connections and uh, it's a great opportunity to network. And uh, like this past summer, I interned from Morgan Stanley uh, and got into finance a little bit. And that's all through, you know, the Cal connection. What was your experience like at Morgan Stanley? Oh, wow. Pretty it, intense, right? It was definitely intense, but I had a, I had a lot of fun doing it as well. Uh, the same mentality that I take onto the basketball court, I had to take on to, to work every day. Well, one of the things for you on the court and even on the sideline when you first transferred that's been most apparent to Cal's fans <laughs> is the vocality that you bring to the team. Right. You're very much a motivational leader. Is right. that something that you've always been or that you took it upon yourself when you got to Cal? Uh, I, I am the type of person, especially when I'm motivated to do something. For instance, when I was uh, I had the internship with Morgan Stanley uh, when I was drawing the 44 pitches of uh, President Obama. I would wake up every morning just pop out of bed, you know, ready to go. Because that's just, uh, you know, my personality in a lot of ways. I'm really high on life. What do you think you'll miss most about Cal as a campus? You know, being around so many people just want to learn. It's a beautiful thing because uh, once you stop learning, life isn't as fun. You know, and that's what we're all here to do. We're all here to learn and better ourselves and as human beings. Now we've talked a little bit about the diversity of talents that you have as a basketball player, as an investment banker, and as an <laughs> artist. Um, come May, what are your plans? If I can make money from basketball, invest it well, and uh, be a professional artist my way, uh, I think that would be a great life. Yeah. What kind of a legacy do you want to leave on, on the Cal Bears team? Uh, well, I, I would just want the fans to remember me as someone who's extremely happy to be here at uh, the most Cal pride and uh, just did things the right way and for the right reasons with good intentions and uh, a good heart. Well, that's about all the time we have uh, for Jamal Boykin. We'd really like to thank him for being here. Uh, this has been Cal TV, your download for What's Up in Cal Athletics.